Hello. Yes, that's right. Phony British nationalism has had its day. I was talking to a veteran British nationalist here in Liverpool several weeks ago, and he said something that was very, very true. Our enemies, Nick Lowe's, Hope Not Hate, Jerry Gables, Sage Life Magazine, and I suppose the big boys in MI5, they need genuine, genuine British nationalism to operate, to survive, um, to stop nationalism in its tracks. They need to leech onto it. They need to be in the background, in the shadows, and sometimes at the forefront, right? But never leading it. Now, this is where Hope Not Hate, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Satan Magazine, and the big boys, the MI5, have shot themselves in the foot. They have destroyed British nationalism, and the remnants of British nationalism, the once mighty national front, that's led by Tony Martin, Shares Lights, Hope Not Hate, uh, and the BMP, Adam Walker, Shares Lights, Hope Not Hate, and uh, late arrival, uh, Amory Waters with For Britain Party. They now lead their spies, their agents are now leading the remnants of British nationalism and the late arrival for Britain Party. And what's very, very obvious and telling about all this, like the veteran British nationalists said to me here in Liverpool, is that there's no fire in their hearts. And that's what's so obvious about them being phonies that Stevie Wonder would see through it. In the past, you had the charismatic... Uh, John Tyndall, you had Nick Griffin even, uh, and other British nationalist leaders who've been genuine uh, nationalist patriots who've had fire in their hearts. None of these do. So because our enemies have destroyed British nationalism, they're now leading it, but this is where they've shot themselves in the foot because it's so bleeding obvious, isn't it? Of course it is. Even Nick Griffin can probably see through it all now, but, but there again, don't hold your breath. Uh, so... It's so obvious. So what the veteran British nationalist said to me here in Liverpool, they need genuine British nationalism. But because there is no genuine British nationalism, there's just the phony British nationalism that they're, they're heading. They're so obvious and transparent and visible because there's no fire or passion in their hearts, is the Look at Adam Walker. You can tell he's no British national. Never was. How Nick Griffin got fooled by him, I will never know. Ambery waters, no redeeming features, ugly little gremlin, no fire or passion in her, in her heart, assuming she's got a heart and it's got a swinging brick in there. Right, so this is what's happened with Obnor Hayes, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Satan Magazine, and their spies. They were meant to be in the background, in the, uh, you know, at the, for at the forefront at times and hiding in the shadows. They weren't meant to lead it. And by leading it, they've tripped up big time. You'd have to be a total clown not to see through that Tony Martin, so-called leader of the National Front. Richard Edmonds, God, is there any hope for you? Same with Adam Walker, same with Anne-Marie Waters. There's no fire, no passion, no nothing in their hearts. There's nothing that would indicate these are real people with a burning desire and passion to win back our country. They're not. Right, well, real genuine British nationalism is going to get launched soon. I've had a good donation today that will help pay for registering um, the party. I've had other donations, Craze. Some people have come up with some uh, suggestions regarding um, a name for the new party, but it can't be British or nationalist or Britain. They're too outdated them. Something uh, with an acronym, like UKIP, United Kingdom Independence Party. That's excellent. Obviously not that, but something similar, right? That's what I've, that's all I've got to do is get this right and we're up and running. And there will be a passion and a fire in my heart. And you all know that. Sadly, Nick Griffin's more concerned with having BMP reunions, celebrating defeat. And how, there, though that won't be mentioned, how Hope Not Hate Spies Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson took the BMP from him. Is that what you're going to be celebrating, Nick? All spoon feeding your ego. Oh, it's pathetic. It literally is pathetic. Okay, thank you.